Anyway, if I could just leave you with this one message, and I, I assume there are probably lots of people under this tent right now who are interested in doing writing themselves. Uh, it be it would be that this is an astonishing country. It's unexplored almost, uh, and my my only message is go go to it. Go. <laughs> Thank you. Tom Wolfe began as a nonfiction writer, as a journalist, uh, and what he did was gradually revolutionize the field of nonfiction by adding elements of fiction that seemed audacious and bold and even crazy sometimes, but made nonfiction writing suddenly so much more fun, so much more alive, so much more creative. Tom Wolfe will be remembered, of course, for a book called The Right Stuff about test pilots in the U.S. space program. Here was a book that seemed to read like a novel. You could hear the sounds of these men and their work. You could see them. You could feel what they were going through. It was a totally new kind of immersive journalism. The pictures you always see of him in that white suit, the three times I saw him, he was always dressed just like that. I mean, he was kind of a Mark Twain character. He was always playing Tom Wolfe. But as great as his career was as a nonfiction writer, what I will remember him for are those novels that seemed to come out of nowhere at the time. I mean, here was a great journalist, a great nonfiction writer, and suddenly uh, we get this enormous new kind of novel, uh, The Bonfire of the Vanities, that takes on New York and Wall Street and whites and blacks and just seemed like such an incredible enterprise. And then he follows that up with A Man in Full, a novel about Atlanta and a real estate developer. But these books were so exciting, were so vast, were, were so active that they really seemed to pump energy back into American fiction. Very few journalists, very few nonfiction writers were able to make that transition to fiction as effectively as Tom Wolfe did. He felt that we'd lost something, that the great work of people like Thackeray and Dickens and Zola, people who wrote novels that captured whole eras, whole cities, that we had grown too effete, too narrow, too timid in the way we wrote novels. And he wanted to pump new energy back into the novel and make it really say something about the way we live now. But in order to write about the coal mines, in order to write about the slums, you've got to go there. And you have to actually have to take a look at what um, at what goes on. I remember hearing him at the National Book Festival and he said, if you want to write a novel, get out from behind your desk, go out into the streets, look around, report, watch, see what's happening. That's the subject of a great novel.